Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we will talk about console energy. And before we dive into the video, let's watch a small clip from Monish Pobrai's latest interview. The thing is that what, what I have always found interesting is the anomalies. You know, so so for example, I remember in about, I think it was like 2004 or so, in 2004, there's a steel company uh, based in Canada called Ipsco. And uh, Ipsco had no debt. It had uh, $15 a share in cash. And it had a given guidance that the next two years earnings were going to be $15 a share each for the next two years. So there was $30 of earnings coming in. The stock was at 42. So I'm saying, okay. And the reason they gave the guidance was they, they used to make these tubular steel pipes where they had contracts with these pipelines where they wanted to deliver you know the pipelines had basically given them purchase orders and so they were going to deliver these pipes and the cash flows were guaranteed it's not like they were giving guidance based on future sales to be done these were sales that were already done so i said okay you know i don't know what will happen after two years but i know that i after two years there'll be 45 dollars of cash on the balance sheet no debt and the stock price currently is 42. I said, I just want to see what the stock price is two years from now. I want to see what Mr. Market does with this. And I just bought it based on that notion, right? And a year later, the company announces that we have one more year of visibility and we'll have another $15 a share earnings for one more year. And now the stock is at about 70 or 80. It's gone up a bit, okay? And I'm thinking about well, you know, we don't, it's a steel company, it will go to zero, whatever, it's a very cyclical business. And and then it starts drifting close to 90, and I'm thinking of, you know, taking it off. Like I said, the, the double in 15 months is really good, you know, let's move on. And then I wake up one morning, and the stock's at one, 157. And some Swedish company offered to buy them at 160. And about five minutes after that, I unloaded the stock. I said, we don't need to wait for the last three dollars. We're done. And uh, recently, the two stocks I found in the US, which I got very excited about, are like that. I never thought I'd find that again, where it's this kind of an anomaly where the guaranteed cash flows are exceeding the market cap and all of that. One of the stock Monish Pobra is talking about in this clip is console energy which is now the second largest position he has in his United States portfolio. Now, let's see what does Console Energy do. Console Energy is a Northern Appalachian based thermal coal producer and company owns 81% of its reserve and also owns a export terminal. One other thing to focus on is that the company have delevered its balance sheet to become debt free and is committed to return nearly 75% of the free cash flow to shareholders by share repurchases. Let's talk about global coal market. It hit all-time high of 8 billion metric ton in 2022, which is the highest in the last decade. And if we speak about the biggest coal consumer, first one is China, which consumes almost 4 billion metric ton. And the second one is India, and then rest of the Asia. If we speak about United States, the coal is predominantly used for electricity and which is down to 20% from 39% a decade ago, which doesn't sound bullish for coal. But you also need to think about the bigger picture about the biggest coal consumers throughout the world and what they are projecting. Such as China, the biggest coal consumer permitted two new coal-fired power plants per week in 2022. And high quality thermal coal is also used in cement production. And in India, which is the biggest customer of console energy, is expected to grow 10% in 2025 from 2022 levels. A trust established by Government of India expects Indian cement consumption to increase from 272 million tons to 430 million tons by 2027. That being said, let's dive into the high level financial of the company. If you look at the revenue, we can see revenue has been steadily growing. And if we specifically talk about the last quarter, we nearly had around 600 million in revenue. And if we talk about free cash flow, 
free cash flow has a similar story it's been growing but we also see a small downtrend and that is more because they are also spending a lot of money on their new plant and if you look at the net income we have the similar story for net income it is also been growing steadily now as the company is debt free we can expect it to grow its net income even higher so let's look into the highlights of the last quarter earnings the consonergy reported the gap net income of 167 million and they did a debt repayment of 54 million they repurchased 3.1 million shares on average price of 60 year to date remember their outstanding shares are now just left around 34 million and if they keep buying like this the outstanding shares will be somewhere around 30 million by end of year which will push the earning per share more higher 78% of the revenue is coming from exports which is good and here is the one of the most amazing part i love about this company they are nearly fully contracted for 2023 and also have contract for 17.6 million tons in 2024 and they are producing somewhere near to 25 million so i won't be surprised if they come early next year and they say hey we have a full outlook of 2024 and we are fully contracted so if you look at here they sold 6.4 million tons coal out of pennsylvania and they sold it for on average price of 81 dollar and the cost is nearly 45 despite being softening market they were able to sell it at higher prices because of their contract they made in advance because power generation market domestically is under pressure due to the warmer winters so they are more focused on export which is also reflected in their revenue so if you look at revenue the revenue is up but we also see some uptake in cost which is okay if they are producing more revenue So if you look at revenue the revenue is up but we also see a small uptick in the cost if we talk about their terminal they also had a one of the best quarter in the history the throughput volume was 5.4 million tons and the operating cost was 7 million compared to 5.7 million a year prior which is expected because they had a highest quarterly throughput in the history so if you look at their equipment project that is also about to be completed and they already sold almost 70000 tons out of it and which is expected to grow next year speaking of and again speaking of shareholder return in last quarter they bought 1.2 million shares for 75 million dollars and speaking of debt repurchases as we spoke earlier they made a debt repayment of almost 54 million dollar and now they have a cash position of 61 million dollar and if you look at the cash flow statement we can see the net income has increased from 2022 and net cash provided by operating activities has also grown and if you look at the revenue from pmc segment we see there is an increase in the revenue and there is also an increase in the margin and if you look at here the cost is around 37 and the margin is around 45 dollar which is pretty impressive so that being said overall i feel like the company is doing really well and company is currently valued at 3 billion dollar which will produce somewhere around 600 million plus in net income this year but i would say we should also be little cautious here because the company is already trading at their all time high and this is commodity business anything can happen anytime especially in this macroeconomic condition so that being said please let me know what you think about the consol energy and if you have any suggestion regarding the video how i can improve please let me know in the comment section thank you so much bye bye